Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your love relationship reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Taurus. Taurus, please keep in mind that this is your group general reading for the month of May and June 2023. It's a group reading so please pick it up what resonates with you, please leave the rest for others and in case you want to have an extended reading to know what your partner thinks about the relationship, thinks about you. Things about a long-term commitment, you can connect with me on the email ID mentioned in the description box below. For any love relationship reading, please do mention your complete name and the name of your partner. And I'll take you from there. All personal private readings are paid readings. Please connect with me with that understanding. I really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do on the channel, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. Angels and Spirits, Messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising, May and June. In May, you have stay optimistic about your love. Be hopeful. Have faith. Have trust. I think this is a temporary air of difference if it is still there in your relationship. Temporary misunderstanding, miscommunication. Even if you guys are distant, you're not talking to each other, you're living apart. It's a temporary phase for sure. And the phase for few of you is going to end within three to four months of time. Somebody needs to hear that. Within three to four months, things will definitely take a much better shape for sure. The other card we have is let go of your controlling issue. The more you control yourself, the more you control your partner, the more you try to control the relationship, it leads to chaos. Remember that you have an engagement. And this is what I was sensing from your reading. The cards for the month of June. Let us see what messages do we have. We have a separation coming up in June. We have forgiving and learning. We have keep an open mind. Wisdom, maturity. You need to give time, space. Let us see what cards do we have in clarification. For the month of May, clarifying the month of May, we have the major arcana, the hope, the wish fulfillment in the form of a star. We have five of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy into your reading. Maybe you're dealing with that partner, Taurus. You have a moon in June, a sign of illusion, confusion, dilemma. A state of not being able to take a major decision. A flyer is there. Judgment. That is what you need to keep an open mind. You need to come out of your boundaries, your shells. Okay. Very, very clear reading, Taurus. In the month of May, it says stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith. Trust. The more you have positive thought, the more you have positive patterns about your relationship the better you will be able to resolve the differences the better you will be able to resolve the chaos of the situation the tough the turmoil situation into your reading follow your partner in the sense have an open discussion have an heart to heart discussion whenever your time permits or your space permits and this is going to bring good time new romantic time again into your life very soon you also have a beautiful card of the message let go of controlling issues and this says allow the situation to unfold naturally. Now it is saying that the more you try to control the overall situation or how your partner is going to be with you or you're trying to control the activities of your partner, the thought process of your partner, the viewpoint of your partner, better the things are going to get complex. Just flow with the flow. And allow the things to unfold on its own naturally. The card of engagement says your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. So for a lot of you, there is a good possibility. There is a high possibility that the commitment from both the sides improves and things take a better shape. Now, I also have a card of five of cups in the clarification. It says there is a possibility of resolution, but for few of you, you know, it could be an emotional loss. It could be a loss of a relationship. It could be in a situation which is draining. It could also be a situation that if there is a resolution or if there is a 
patch up between both the partners it is not a heartfelt kind of you know the patch up or something you really like or something which is true to your heart so for few of you because this is a general reading this is a group reading not a personal private reading for few of you there is a high possibility that you allow the partner to go or even you want to go forward because you feel that somewhat down the line the emotionally it is the relationship is draining and somewhat emotionally you guys are not able to satisfy each other and this is basically a card a chance of demotivation emotional loss but if you see the card closely it says there is still a big hope because there is few few cups which are lying down on the ground but there are two full cups filled cups at your back so when you when you see the situation from the overall perspective from the perspective of your and your partner's perspective you might come to a different solution and for a lot of you the star is going to bring a dream a wish fulfillment this could be an engagement this could be you know Uh, a formal commitment this could be marriages for a lot of you so whatever long time wish fulfillment you have in your mind i do see for a lot of you this is going to get fulfilled beautifully there is marriage on the card there is engagement of the card you might move in with your partner you might have a family with your partner so whatever you have a wish since long the star is going to ensure that it gets fulfilled for a lot of you out there Now in the month of June we do have messages of separation it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon so i still feel this is not a permanent uh, you know separation i do feel that you guys lot of you needs time and space to understand the relationship to nurture the relationship because if you if i see the tarot cards which are explaining the month of june yes i understand and i agree and i can see that there is a card of illusion whether to stay back whether to move on whether to you know uh, go back to the partner whether to initiate the talk so this kind of you know question this kind of doubt is coming to your mind time and again and definitely june is the month of lot of confusion illusion dilemma not able to decide which way to go however the card which is following moon is judgment it says in order to resolve the current concerns you have to think out of box for which you have to break the boundaries first you have to break the mental emotional and physical boundary you need to come out of your own thought process first you need to come out of your own cocoon and shell and then you have to see the picture from up bigger picture that what all this relationship is giving into your life how important this relationship is in your life is it nurturing is it making you happy contented is it making you fulfilling you need to ask these questions from you so that you think from a different viewpoint as well and the other two cards says forgiving and learning as you release and heal your past you reheal your emotional wounds you heal your emotional bleeding heart burn heart pain you experience more love in your present movement and you know when you really have you really think about moving from one partner and when you go on a healing path you you definitely see a lot of like minded people who come and venture into your life to fill that particular space which is needed to be filled soon just try that out this really helps in a longer way keep an open mind this is what the card of judgment is saying you need to keep an open mind mind with great wisdom maturity it says your soulmate may differ from from your usual type and expectations so there is a very high possibility that your thought process is different from your partner the way both of you perceive love relationship the way both of you want to give time to the relationship might differ the expectations differ the understanding differ but what i see the way you perceive a love relationship in life is actually you guys are on a different zone so just think about it this is food for your thought and accordingly you can discuss and you know explore with your partner that how you would like or she or she would like to go ahead on the relationship now let us see what guardian angel messages do we have for love relationship for taurus we already have a flyer the card came jumping out and let me see the other card so you have a jewel and the flyer is guilt okay 
you do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love regardless of what you have done or what you think you have failed to do from your soul's perspective there is neither right nor wrong every experience in life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace ever greater sphere of wisdom you are done you have done nothing wrong in terms of love and relationships and the other message is jewel it says every event in life presents us with a new opportunity to experience ever greater love there is a jewel to be found within every tear drop trust we your angels are guiding the current events this is the time in which you and those close to you will emerge strengthened by ever greater bonds of love trust there is nothing to fear there is only love ahead and let us see what archangel michael prayer do we have for you today and what is the message related to that prayer it says your children are watched over by angels so if you are concerned about uh, the children in your relationship you do have a message for them it says dear guardian angels of my children born or unborn thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety please guide me so that i know the best ways to be a good parent and a role model for my own and others people children and the last card and the message of the reading is the person you are asking about is trustworthy amazing confirmation it says thank you for helping me have faith so i can open my heart wider in my relationship i am grateful for all your protection ensuring that only trustworthy people are going to enter and nurture my life from here now on what a powerful ending message taurus do let me know how you resonated with this beautiful reading and i will see you next time very soon be blessed